I want to use the opportunity to first of all congratulate your commission for giving opportunity to young, uh, young voters this time around. Um, I have a concern here with regards to the result published today, looking at um, the tie between the two leading parties, the SLPP and the APC. Um, I look at it as, uh, as if it's gonna be, there's going to be a runoff. It's not a responsibility to say it anyway. But I just want to ask a question whether the Commission is prepared for that, should there be any, uh, in terms of finance, in terms of uh, staffing, and all others that may attach to it. And uh, the number two point I have here an embarrassing situation occurred with your uh, Commission, it's a Commissioner, and a situation that's occurred along the Kingdom Road area with your staff abandoning a whole station on the public day. Have you got any plan of action with regards to such misbehavior so as to um, put some kind of measures to avoid reoccurrence of uh, such mishap? Thank you. Hello, my name is Victor Escrivana. I'm working for the Spanish News Agency over here. And uh, I have just one quick question. Uh, how about the turnout? I mean, if there is 25% uh, and it's uh, 650,000 votes, it means that multiplied by four, it has to be like 2,006,000 people. So that would be a turnout of 82%. Can you confirm the exact number, the exact percentage of turnout that you have in your hands? Thank you. I just want to ask if you have shared your mandate with new, because new is moving media to media saying that there's going to be a runoff. So I want to know if you have agreement with them to tell us that there's going to be a runoff. One more, right? My name is uh, Daniel Mosiri. This is just a concern. Um, I just want to clarify if there's any cancellation of votes in the Western Order. And, um, as you know. Uh, again, uh, we will all answer. Over issue of over voting, look, if we have any case of over voting, we go as far as law on that section, it is serving of the Public Elections Act. So, as of now, we, we are still working on this. We have not been informed of anything about the over voting yet. But don't forget, these are just 25% of the results we are releasing. You should avoid votes and uh, other technical issues. Of course, uh, when we are giving you the whole results, we we'll give you uh, exactly the other details. Percentage to amount, avoid votes, etc., etc. But we think, we think it's too early now for us to give you um, these details. But in any case, you will get them. Are the elections free, fair, and credible? It's left, what do you think? Right? We conducted the elections in polls. I mean, if you look at uh, the preliminary statements of uh, the election observation mission, I think uh, you know exactly. But beyond all reasonable doubt, from our side, we think the elections are free, fair, they are credible. And that's our goal. That's exactly what we're working towards to make sure that uh, these uh, elections are. Uh, with respect to the allegations of political parties, that's why I told you we are meeting with them. We take their concerns very seriously. But definitely, 
some of them are allegations. You can't tell. There are certain allegations. <laughs> we just we meet them and we tell them the truth. I told you we met with them the other, yesterday, that was yesterday. The issue of acceptance of results. Uh, let me say that, uh, as you all know, all the political parties before now are saying that they will win. All of them. But the fact is that there's only one political party that will win. That's, that's just one. Right? Uh, of course, we will not, we will not tell any which political party will not accept the result. But if they do, we will advise that the new process. Uh, I mean, we are ready, we are ready, but we believe that uh, we will be releasing all the results that are credible, that are accurate. We know the consequences if you run bad elections. All of us here have been <laughs> in this uh, election administration business for a very long time now. And we are also Sierra Unions who face <laughs> the war, so we know exactly what it means. Tie between, you say, APC and SLPP. I don't know whether there will be a tie between. <laughs> but this is just provisional results. For all of yes, we are ready. We prepare for the wrong. Our independent journalists, but uh, do we have representatives? We have from new or other people. I'm going to ask them. And they they also have their own mandate, but uh, we are us. There's any cancellation of vote? Yes, uh, in the western area, I think one, constituency one, two, three, right? Because of printing errors, we will cancel. It's parliamentary, but the presidential and the it's, a, it's, it's parliamentary and local council are okay. I it's printing error. I think they feel the photograph of uh, one C4C is not there. But there are other, there are other printing errors also. <laughs> both municipalities. So both municipality, there are another one in Kenema, another in, in Bo. Right. In, in Punjab, sorry. Then this one will cancel those one and we definitely have to run them again. Uh, yes, Commissioner. About staff abandoning police station at Kingama Road. Uh, I'm yet to be informed. Maybe, Commissioner, you know about that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I think that was one of the places where it was more obvious that some of the staff did not show up for work. And that's not the only place because People are recruited, they are trained, and they are told to report to certain stations, and when they don't, we have to adjust. Unfortunately, because that area is particularly crowded, Because of the crowds, it was quite um, it was quite a bit of chaos, and it took quite a bit of um, time for us to be able to quell the situation because it was causing a lot of delays, and some of I think one entire station could not open because the staff were not there. But um, eventually, I think those who showed up were able to were able to vote. And generally, across the country, we have a lot of people who didn't show up and will be following up to find out exactly why. Um, all the other issues regarding over voting.
but the overvoting is not determined just by the, the tea, the, the results. If it appears that way, then we have to do further investigation, even leading up to a recount. And for these recounts, of course, before we open any ballot box, we will call the political parties and their agents to come and witness that recount. So anytime that is happening, we get back to the parties for us to be able to verify and clear the audits. And whatever is not cleared in audit, we will then begin to classify under the various categories of irregularities that we may have. So just bear with us and we'll come to conclusions on those issues for now. To say exactly, that is what it looks like. Issue of the staff. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, after we investigate staff footage of the staff, some of these means they will be blacklisted. That would be in our administrative okay. and control. But, but because we cannot have staff whom we have recruited, trained, and never showed up to work. So their details will be included in our, um, our blacklisting system such that we should not be dealing with these staff. Um, in the foreseeable um, future. Um, over voting, basically, we also have a category that we are dealing with now. I can call it technical over voting. It happens such that because we made provision for certain officials, the security personnel and our polling staff to vote in the last stations of polling centers. Um, the Voting in a non-last station should not exceed the of registrants for that particular, um, for those particular um, stations. But for the last stations, because our polling staff and security personnel um, were given the opportunity to vote in these stations, there is the possibility that the total number of votes cast in those last stations may exceed the number registered in those last stations. So we have these cases also hanging in our various regional tally centers. So procedurally, what we we'll do to clear them off the audit system? Because as soon as that happen, happens, um, the system will flag it as overvoting. So what we are doing procedurally now will uh, kind of um, um, ask our district staff to bring down all the um, the supplementary registers and a count will be made on the supplementary registers and the count on the supplementary register will be added into the system to the main register of the last stations and that will definitely clear um, the, the technical issue of, of overvoting. So these are some of the delays um, that um, is happening now but of course in most of the uh, in all of the, the regional tally centers, we now have the supplementary registers and we are sorting that out. For the turnout, of course, the, the ratio should be the total valid votes cast plus the invalid votes. It should show the total participation. Say sorry on behalf of the commission for uh, not straight up yesterday, but finally, of course, no really and came and then uh, apologize to the commission and everybody present. Thank you very much. Yeah. The next round of 50 percent progressive results announcement is at 4 p.m. Thank you very much for coming.
Hello. Oh, I turned uh, Antonia and, uh, and, and uh, Patricia. We've just heard from the next boss. He has actually read. 25% um, of the results so far. Well, I think I need to read um, a particular part from the announcement made by the next boss. Um, he said, and uh, um, first 25% of the polling states in each district cleared by the National Electoral Commission um, next tally center IT system. These progressive results details below are um, elaborated on the second page are partial and do not represent the complete outcome of the elections. Which I think, um, that according to the next boss, he said, um, this is the first 25 percent. Doesn't mean that um, a certain political party or certain presidential candidates have actually won the 2018 election. Um, uh, 25 percent of the results will come out again at exactly 4 p.m by the outreach man Albert so we're still waiting for that um, so stay fixed stay glue at AYV um, television and also AYV radio on 11.6 FM um, for all the latest information that you need to know about the election so we're still um, outside and we have a civil society man Sano who I might want to um, speak to just now um, Sano your life on AYV television so far the next boss has got 25% of the results um, so far. What's your take? And I think this is good, although there was delayed, there was delay, but this is good because the net boards have given us 25% of the results and we are still waiting for the balance. So I think, I think the country is now set to know how the, the electoral process is ending. So it's good. But the only thing I've just talked to the director of operation you have the number of stations included here i said let's have one column which will show the num the number of actual stations so you put them there then you will know what is left then we want to get a, the grand total number of stations left the uh, total number of vote, expected voters actual voters that uh, that they have counted actual vote they have counted and the expected actual expected vote so if we have these two columns, it will be good. People will be able to reflect, focus, and know what's there. But as far as I'm concerned for now, we, we, we can't say nothing. Are you feel satisfied so far? Well, of course, it's, it's satisfactory. I don't, uh, uh, because they've told us they have some results that they have kept. They have, not, they, have, they have not included it here because of they want to query it because of what the opposition party said. So for now, it's just the first sample. Let's wait until the second sample and then let's wait what they will see. You cannot jump into conclusion. That's why I was telling parties that are saying we have won, wait until NEC release their results. I know you have your own results, but wait. So now we also have, in Syria you have uh, uh, the result. We are going to ensure that we look at this result and then compare it with the result. We look at the polling stations and compare it so that to ascertain whether there is discrepancy or not. We are going to be there to ensure that this election is credible, factual, without bias, and it is transparent, and so that everybody will accept it and there will be peace in the country. Mm. All right, well, Joseph Sano, thank you very much for joining us on AYV Television. Mind you, you're watching AYV Television live. We're at the headquarter of the um, NEC um, office here in the country's capital city. We've just been seeing um, the NEC boss read 25% uh, of the results so far being cast on March 7 by some 3.1 million Sierra Leoneans, which will be confirmed by the next boss just now. So another 25% of the results will be announced um, by 4 p.m. at 4 
able to give the 25 percent which will be in total 50 percent apparently according to neg boss they might announce the total result soon uh, but initially told us that maybe by monday we'll see the final results out for the country patricia and um, the rest of the team i'm a bit angry um, i've been here since this 7 a.m i've not eaten anything so i'm totally angry for now so i will leave you for now um the rest of the crew so we'll leave you for now we'll go out and get something to eat and we'll be back because we don't want to be uh, like we did yesterday um until 12 noon day um, i beg your pardon until 12 midday so we'll be back just stay fix watch ayb television and um, before i go let me talk to um, um el casano um it's um because we might have different views in connection to um, the outcome of this is also far so um apparently we'll be back stay fixed to ayv tv and also ayv radio on 11.6 fm i've been your man on the ground david gamma williamson thank you very much patricia and antonia for all in the fort and the technical team achi and hands for the cameraman aki um a part of the technical team lako kodu blue muhammad kojo uh, Guys, thank you very much, David Rami Wilson. And there you have it, the conclusion of the press I held by the National Electoral Commission on the announcement of 25% of the results collated so far by the commission. It was announced there by Unfa Ali Conte yeah. and um, Miata French, Unfa Ali Conte being the Chief Electoral Commissioner and Miata French, the Western Area Commissioner. Yes, and be reminded this is a progressive presidential result. It's the first set of progressive presidential results. It do not represent the complete or total outcome of the elections. So as you heard from the press briefing there, at 4 p.m. we're expecting to have another set of 25% to be announced there by the National Electoral Commission. We'll bring you live updates of that as it happens. Continue to stay glued to AYB television and radio on channel 33 and FM 101.6. We'll still have our guests here in the studio. We'll be engaging them also to hear their views. And we still have our men on the ground as David